Okay, so this is our third example of um, finding the domain of a function uh, represented by a formula. And uh, just like in the previous two examples, um, we're going to use the same strategy. Uh, what we need to do here is find the values that we would substitute for x uh, that make the denominator 0 in this fraction. And since we cannot divide by 0, we would exclude those numbers from all real numbers to get the domain set. Uh, the domain set for the function. So the way we can find those uh, values for x that are going to make this um, expression in the denominator 0 uh, is simply by taking that expression and um, setting it to 0 and then solving the resulting equation. So when we set this expression to 0, since uh, this expression involves um, x squared, the unknown squared, uh, then um, this gives us a quadratic equation. This is known as a quadratic equation. And one way we can solve quadratic equations uh, is by attempting to factor uh, the non-zero side of the equation. And then we can apply the zero factor theorem uh, to find the solutions for um, the equation. So this technique only works if we can actually factor the non-zero side of the equation. So let's see if we can factor this expression x squared minus 5x minus 6. So I think you know from your prior factoring experience that um, we're going to attempt to factor this expression by using trial and error factoring uh, to factor this as the product of two uh, binomials. So we have some possibilities here uh, for these two binomial factors. Uh, and um, you can try those until you uh, uh, arrive at the correct factorization. And indeed, this expression, as it turns out, does factor. Uh, it factors as x minus 6 times x uh, plus 1. So it may take you a, true uh, a few tries to arrive at that factorization. Uh, but this uh, ends up being the correct factorization. So x squared minus 5x minus 6 factors as x minus 6 times x plus 1. And so now we can apply the zero factor theorem. Uh, this equation tells us that we have a product. Um, whose uh, 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 value is 0. And the only way you can have uh, uh, the product of two uh, uh, quantities uh, equal 0 is if one of the quantities is 0. So we know that either x minus 6 is 0 uh, or uh, x plus 1 uh, is equal to 0. And then we can just solve these two resulting equations. So this first equation we can solve by adding 6 to both sides of the equation. So that gives a solution x equals 6. And the second equation we can solve just by subtracting 1 uh, from both sides of the equation. So these are the two numbers, uh, 6 and minus 1, uh, that if we substituted for x uh, in this uh, function formula, in other words, if we use these either of these two numbers as input to the function, uh, we would end up here with uh, a, a denominator of 0 in this fraction. And since we cannot divide by 0, uh, we know that these two numbers cannot be used as inputs to the function. In other words, they're not in the domain of the function h. So uh, the correct domain for h then would be uh, all real numbers except for uh, 6 and uh, minus 1.